PictoColor's iCorrect Portrait Photoshop plugin, according to many wedding, sports, school, and portrait photographers, is the best shortcut to perfect color because of its proprietary skin tone technology and point and click approach to color correction. In addition to making it easy to get the color right, I correct portraits, time-saving workflow options, custom settings, memory colors, and integrated sharpening and noise removal will dramatically shorten the time you will have to sit in front of the computer color correcting your photos. This tutorial will show you how to use the start with and custom settings feature of I correct portrait to speed your imaging workflow. To illustrate the productivity features of I correct portrait, I have selected a batch of images that were taken under similar lighting conditions. This happened to be all school photos. And I selected a batch that has a number of different skin tones. First thing we want to do is select a photo that is pretty representative of the batch and one that specifically includes a number of gray, white, or black areas. Let's select the I correct portrait. Now before we get started color correcting, I'd like to point out the built-in user guide. Click on the little blue question mark and up pops the built-in user guide. Now by clicking on the online user guide at the bottom, you'll be directed to our online user guide on our website, which includes a more graphical illustration of the functions and features of my correct portrait. Now we'll start by clicking the auto black and auto white. We generally always want to move from top to bottom. Uh, in this particular case, it looks like the auto white tends to blow out the highlights a little bit, so we'll undo that. We'll increase the brightness by one notch, and with the scale icon activated, that's the neutral balance, to remove the color cast, we'll click on areas of gray and, and white. And then back off the white that blew it out a little bit, and now we'll click on the skin tone, and click on a couple areas of skin, and we are finished. Now we can save this correction as a custom setting, but I want to be a little bit more precise and use the skin tone technology on an individual picture. So I'm going to back off a little bit on the skin tone and save this custom setting and we'll call it test 03 and we'll save it. Now we'll finish this one off. We'll go back to the skin tone and now we will select the change the preferences, which will be activated the next time we open iCorrect Portrait. We'll go first, load a custom setting, load the one that we just did, and we'll change the start with to custom settings. Okay. This one is okay. Now we'll open the next image. Now as we open the next image in Portrait, it will automatically apply the corrections, which was the auto black, the brightness, and the neutral. We'll click on the skin tone and customize the skin tone correction, and we'll say yeah. Now we'll open the Next image, again, open I correct portrait. Same thing applies. Now, if we clicked on previous, it would apply the correction on the previous image. Let's go back to, we can always reset it, and then we'll click on custom to apply that. Click on the skin tone, and we're fine. Go to the next one. Same thing. Tone. So we really are optimizing each picture to take advantage of the skin tone technology, but automatically removing the color cast, increasing the brightness of each image automatically. And that's basically the way it's done. And notice that it works well on all skin tones. iCorrect Portrait has a couple of additional features that will 
increase your productivity. That is the integrated sharpen and noise removal functions. Sharpen, noise removal can be activated either both or one or the other. You can use the default setting or you can adjust the parameters for your specific camera characteristics. When you click OK, you will apply the sharpening and noise removal and color correction in the proper sequence. The first being removing noise, second applying the color correction, and third sharpening the image. The benefit of this is obvious in that you do not have to use a separate program or plug-in to apply noise removal and sharpening. So you're doing it all within uh, one plug-in, iCorrect Portrait. As an iCorrect Portrait user recently said, getting the color balance right was a huge challenge until I discovered iCorrect Portrait. I went from guessing and testing to picture perfect in a click. I can't tell you how important to my process this tool is and how many hours of tedium you have saved me. But for more information on iCorrect Portrait and to try it for yourself, go to www.pictocolor.com slash portrait.htm. Thank you for watching.